And then I was going to um, talk about the download that they have. I don't know if everybody saw this. Are doing Stampin' Up! This is what I love about them. They do such cool stuff like this. You know, they're always donating to a charity or they do a lot of work for charity and stuff. So they are, they have this download and they're all digital stamps. So there's 11 pages of them, but I just wanted to show them to you because it's an awesome and it was $12.99 to download them. Pretty big charities that it's going to. So if you like digital stamps, I'm mean, they're a lot of fun these because they're all like, this one says, wash your hands, let's just roll with it. I mean, I'm smiling under this face mask. A lot of you probably seen it, but there's so many really cute sentiments on here. And it says, have another quarantini. Sometimes I think I need one. <laughs> Um, but there's really cute things and I just printed them off on my cardstock and used them on um, a couple I'm going to send to a couple of my customers so it says stay home stay safe we are thinking of you it's some of them are really cute business on top PJs on the bottom but there there are 11 pages of these I think I skipped one yeah, this one says just breathe but wear your mask but some really really cute little sentiments and stuff and they print out really nice this is only regular typing paper you know regular printing paper but they print it out pretty bold and stuff on all my and this is like thank you for your sacrifice i think these are so cute but a lot of different sentiments and stuff did y'all see them? <laughs> so it's going to a really good cause. And I mean, it's a really good deal for $12.99, I thought. That's about all. I'm just super excited about the new catalog coming out. I'm so happy we got to see it. And there's some new and exciting stuff coming. So it's going to be fun. All right. So let's go ahead. And it's not a, a really difficult project tonight. So it's going to probably go kind of quickly but we're going to do a Mother's Day box so I'm doing this one today and it's really cute it really turned out cute it wasn't actually what I was going for I was kind of going for a really little mini um, milk carton but I ended up not having the sides on it so I went with it because I thought it was really cute so I'm gonna change the sentiment a little bit because I'm gonna use the same one I'm gonna use the happy Mother's Day but I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna put the happy on top so you can see the full happy Mother's Day because I kind of covered it with this I did I covered it with the flower but um, yeah it, it turned out really cute you can put a little necklace or bracelet even in here all right so let's just go ahead and get started with it that's rather pretty easy all right so we are going to um use i'm going to still use the same colors and the same pattern so this is melon mambo and it's ten and a half by five and three quarters and then I'm double matting these and I haven't done that in such a long time but they turned out really cute to double mat them so we are going to use whisper white and this is one by two and three eighths and then these two are and this is from the ornate garden specialty designer series paper which I don't I don't think this is one that's on back order I know the stamp sets are I don't think the paper is though paper is really pretty I really like it it kind of looks retro to me the colors and stuff and I, I like that so and then um, these are wait a minute I think I did this wrong this is one and seven eighths by two and a quarter and then this is one and three quarters by two and an eighth I'll put it all in the video I'll probably post the video tomorrow since I don't have one from last week so I'll go over those and and post them all and then you need four um, of the narrower ones and these are one by two and three eighths and then four to madam which is seven eighths by two and one eighth for that and then for the sentiment hi Jojo hi Jody Jody I've been seeing you a lot lately on 
when Sarah comes on and stuff. And I, I mean to say hi to you. <laughs> and then, um, so this is for the sentiment. It's five eighths by two. And no, this is, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> this is um, three quarters by two and three quarters. And then this one's five eighths by two and three quarters, or three. I'll write, I'll put them all in the video. Can't remember what these were and I didn't write them down. All right, then we are using the Dress to Impress stamp set for this. And I'm just using the Happy Mother's Day for this. And we're using the Medium Punch, Daisy Punch for this one. And then the Leaf Punch. And I'm super sad. This is, I use this so much and it is retiring. So if you want this punch, you need to get on it because it's only why supplies last. This stamp set's still going to be around, which I'm super happy about. But um, this punch, uh, I hope they have more leaves. I didn't look that close, but I'm going to be looking for that. And then I'm using the Ornate um, floral embossing folder and this is just for punching the flower and I'll show you I just ran it through the big shot on whisper white and then I'm gonna punch the daisies out of it it just gives really pretty texture to the flower so that's what I'm doing for that and for this one that I did I used the die that's in the ornate uh, I mean not the ornate that's in the um, dress to impress I use this die with the stitching on it but I'm going to do it different on this one because I want to change the way I put the happy mother's day on there all right so let's go ahead and get scoring on this if I start rattling just let me know I just haven't talked to anybody in a long time <laughs> I feel like I'm so sheltered <laughs> Uh, is anybody with me? I'm like in Texas here. They're opening stores tomorrow and they're opening like movie theaters. I'm really nervous about that. Some and they're moving opening restaurants and they're but you have they're limiting the amount of people in the restaurants. So I don't know about that. But anyway, this is the ten and a half inch side. We're going to score it at one half at three, five and a half, and eight. And then on the five and three quarter side, we're gonna score it at one half, two and a half, and three and three quarters. I may get to that, um, I think so too, sis. I think it's, t it's, ugh. And then they, they I, I saw today they were protesting downtown Fort Worth because they want the hair salons open. And yeah, the last two days we've had the highest number of cases yesterday and today we've had. It's, I don't know, I just think it's too early and I hope it doesn't make it worse. All right, so for cutting this, we are going to cut this long strip up. And we're gonna cut this one off too. I really need a haircut, but I still think it's too early for that too. <laughs> I really need a haircut, my husband and I both. This is the bottom, this is the half inch side and this is the bottom. So these are gonna be our little bottom flaps. So I'm gonna cut in on these. Me neither, Dot. I'm not going anywhere either. I haven't even been going to the grocery store. My husband does. He goes, he wears a mask. He said it's really gotten better though, where they're all, pretty much everybody is wearing a mask, even the cashiers and stuff. So it's, that's good. I know, Irene, it is too early. All right. And then on the top ones, we're cutting down each one of these two. I 
your husband two dot. All right, so every other one we're gonna cut. So we're only we're gonna cut the half inch off the, that one and this one too, because these are gonna fold inside our box. All right, so I'm gonna cut in these a little bit because these are gonna fold inside. Last week I didn't do a whole lot of crafting because I just was not feeling good. <laughs> It can, you know, it's funny because it really started to scare me because, you know, there's so much, you know, you hear on the news and although it was, it was stomach related, I still started worrying because I know the flu, <laughs> I had my flu shot though, but all right, so we're just going to sharpen these. I'm going to mat these after. Parson, I didn't see you. If I missed anybody, hi. Welcome everyone. All right, we're just going to, I'm going to use tear and tape on here. I know that's what Tony keeps telling me. My husband keeps telling me we can't stress about it, but so hard and when I went to see my little grand great granddaughter I held her for a few minutes because my granddaughter's like Gram Grammy she doesn't go anywhere <laughs> I'm like yeah but everybody in the house well she she hasn't my granddaughter hasn't gone anywhere but all right so we're gonna fold it here but anyway we had masks on and I don't know if it was the mask that just scared her, but she started crying and my daughter-in-law said it's because she's only been around them for the last what two and a half months <laughs> so I held her just for a little bit so I'm going to put tear and tape on the bottom here too We're, we're getting new adhesive, y'all. I'm excited. We are getting new. We're not going to have snail anymore. And then we're going to have a really strong adhesive for boxes. So I'm excited about that. All right. Okay, so these fold in and then this folds down here. So let's go ahead and mat it. There's a bunch of matting, so I think I'm just going to use wet glue for these. So I'm going to mat these to here. Thank you, Parson. I am. It's been a rough couple weeks because like Tuesday I started feeling sick again and I was thinking, what is going on? Has everybody been good? Enough of my woes. <laughs> All right, so this one's going to go on the top here. I like this pattern. And then the other one, this one's going on the other side. Hi, Fran. And then we're going to mat all these bottom ones here.
All right, so these go all around the sides. I really like it double matted. It's been so long since I've done that. But I need to start doing that. You know what I've been doing a lot of? I'm going back over like some of the old stamping techniques and stuff. And playing with them again <laughs> because there are some things, you know, that were really neat quite a while ago and I haven't seen for a long time. Oh, you're working from home, Jamie? Dot everybody's baking. I'm on a diet. I started Monday. I told myself there's no more eating. <laughs> I've been way eating too much. Both my husband and I both. Because, you know, you're sitting there watching a movie or something. We even watch them, like, sometimes during the day. And you're always grabbing for something, you know, to eat. All right, so I'm using the small uh, circle punch. You can round the corners on this, too. I didn't think about that, but I'm going I'm going to leave it like it is. I'm just going to punch. Make sure those are even. I'm just going to punch a hole and I'm going to use my eighth inch. Does anybody know if, if this is going away, this eighth inch ribbon? Because I couldn't find it in the catalog. I don't know if it already is. <laughs> I've been using it like crazy. I know you're doing good, sis. You're still losing. That's really good. We've been doing nothing but eating and we walk every morning, but oh my goodness, when you're eating so much, it doesn't help. So yesterday I went back on my fitness. <laughs> so there's the, just tied a little bow in there. All right, let's do the flower. So, for the flower, like I said, I just ran this through. And you can use any um, embossing folder, but I love this one. It's so pretty. So I'm going to just punch three of the daisies. I love the texture it, it gives the flower. It's just prettier than just the plain. And I'm going to punch a couple for the leaves. Leaves. I don't know what I'm going to do without this leaf punch. <laughs> I'm I was so upset when I saw it on the list. I was like, oh, I love that punch. And then I'm going to just cut a little half inch circle. And that's going to be just the center of the flower. All right, so I am using the little and be patient with me. I think it did too, Fran, <laughs> but I've been still using it. Like, I'm going to use it anyway, but I'm going to just use the, the mini glue dots in between the flower. I think I had two rolls, and I think I've gone through both of them. I like the eighth inch. And then we're just putting one little of the mini glue dots in between. And then I'm just going to glue this one on. You bought a bunch of it? I should have when I, when it went, oh, before it went away. I really like the eighth inch. The um, the other eighth eighth inch we had in the in colors, I wasn't crazy about that. It didn't tie very good to, for me. I had a hard time tying it. But let's get that back. Those back on there. So I'm just layering the leaves on there. I need to do it up. Leave it upside down so it dries there for a minute. We'll stamp the sentiment. 
All right, I'm to stamp this, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I'm just gonna um, mask these off. So I'm gonna do the Mother's Day first and I'm just gonna mask the happy off. So I can, you can see the whole um, thing. I need my little chamois here. So I can wipe that off. All right, and after you mask it, be sure to take that off. I learned that the hard way a long time ago. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stamp the Mother's Day. And then we'll clean this one. I got a new chamois, how about that? Mine was like black, it was so... All right, then I'm gonna mask the Mother's Day and just do the happy above it. see if I can fit it all on there real good this is a small piece yeah it's pretty good all right and then I'm gonna just use some snail I'll see which way I like it better after I get it on here oh, don't move I'm going to flag the end, I think, of this, too. Aw, oh, thanks, Linda. All right, and then I think I'll put wet glue on here. And we'll add that here. See if I can do it without. I think I'll use glue dots for the flower. Let's see if you can, yeah, I think it's better. I'm gonna move that over just a hair more. Ooh, got it stuck down there now. There. So here's both ways. It's cute, little box. But I like where you can see the Happy Mother's Day. And I didn't want to move this over so far that'd be half off the box, but what do you think? Which way do you like it better? You like the bannered one? I think it, I like it better. All right, everyone. Thanks for the hearts. That's so sweet. See you next Thursday at the same time. Have a great one. Have a good weekend, everyone. We'll catch you later. Bye.